6.40 in the morning. I'm pretty tired, but today it's supposed to be like 70 and there's no wind on the forecast. So what do you do when it's 70 and sunny and no wind? You skydive. So I'm on the way to the drop zone. Bus number one. So I have like a 15 minute transfer time into my next bus. I think there's a coffee shop up here. I'm gonna go and try and get a pastry or something. Wow, it's a gorgeous morning. It doesn't look very open. They were closed, but there's a Starbucks up here, which I'm gonna be cutting it close, but that's all right. So what's the deal with skydiving? So I went on my first tandem jump in Iceland in like 2016. I was always just like really curious about the sport and I loved it, but it was so scary and I didn't think I would ever do it again. Then I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and I was like, all right, I gotta go for my first solo jump and just see if, you know, I actually wanna do this. And if I don't like it, you know, then I'll know. And so I did that in 2021 in Kansas City and the jump went horribly, I'm sure a lot of you know, but I just kept thinking about it and it just kind of like never left my mind for eight months. That was kind of what told me I need to actually commit myself to this. When I moved to Colorado, I jumped every single weekend I was in town from April to November or December. And I got my A license, which is great, but I have so far to go in the sport. I thought once I had my solo license, I could like start filming and like I'd be just so good at it, but that's really not the case. There's there's so much to learn, so much to improve. I'll get there one day, but right now I'm still just like a novice. That's basically the spiel. That's like the lowdown. Let's go, stars. How about that right there, baby? There's only like a few buses every day going to where this drop zone is. So if I miss this bus, I'm fucked. But I'll be fine, I hope. So good news, I made my second bus. So literally they were leaving as I pulled up, but I made it, so we're all good. This country is so pretty, it is unbelievable. And everywhere you look, it's just like a screensaver. The drop zones are always like in the most random places. I'm mean, the only person on this bus. Just me. I'm off the second bus, the last bus, and now it's like a 30 minute walk to the drop zone. I'm like so far out here. Baby, we made it. What's up, buddy? Huh. One minute to drop from 13,000 feet.
All right, so that about wraps it up. I got three jumps in. They were all so fire. The first one, I had to do like a coach jump because I hadn't jumped since early February. The second one was just a solo and I was just focusing on like body mechanics. And the third one was a three-way formation. Great dives. It's just the best. And there's just no other words for it. If you haven't jumped yet, what are you waiting for? But now I need to make my way back to Auckland because I'm in the middle of nowhere.